Hi everyone, welcome to Etoma 16. On our today's lesson, I'm going to show you how we are going to find dy by dx. So this is an implicit differentiation. In the case of this implicit differentiation, first of all, you have to know how we are going to define dy by dx in general mean. Is that so? First of all, now let's come to let's find answer for this problem before just we directly come to how we are going to determine dy by dx. First, we need to find what is what is dy by dt and dy dx by dc first of all is that so in order to determine this value first let me define this generally dy by dt mean what so dy by dt can be defined as this implicit differentiation can be described as dy by dx times dx by dt is that so this is the formal definition of this problem so what's the derivative of dy by dt what's the derivative of this with respect to tau is that so it is going to be simply you can find the derivative of y with respect to t just like this one this is going to be 3t square is that you know how to find the derivative of t raised q so it is going to be now 3t square and this is given by dy by dx this is what you're going to find then dx by dt mean what the derivative of this with respect to x that is just done like this one is that it is going to be 6t times dy by dx is that and therefore this implies that solving dy by dx this is perfectly 3t squared over 6t that's going to be t over 2 is that so this is the way how we are going to determine the derivative of do i the derivative of the function with respect to x is that so we call this is an implicit differentiation thank you for watching if you are a new member of my youtube channel don't forget to share like and subscribe it's from 16 to have more knowledge about this one and other students have to know how to learn how this world is simple and you can you can simply just learn with simple way thank you for watching bye bye